Let's go. And we will see. Hello, welcome to another very beautiful day. Today is Thursday, the 16th day of March 2023. And this is your live boy today. And we want to warn you about the horror of hell. I don't want anybody to go to hell. I do not pray to go to hell myself. That's why I just said it in that way, you know, to sound like to jolt you and let you know that don't go there. There is the horror of hell. Well, thank God for the peace that uh, we know manifests in the place where Christ reigns supreme with all the saints. So let's read first about why you should not um, witness the horror of hell from the gospel according to St. Mark. We've been in St. Mark all through this week. We are now in chapter 9 and we are taking our reading now from the 30th verse. Are you set? Let's go. They went on from there and passed through Galilee and he will not have anyone know it for he was teaching his disciples saying to them, the son of man will be delivered to the hands of men and they will kill him and when he is killed after three days he will rise. But they did not understand the saying and they were afraid to ask him. And they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you discussing on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had discussed with one another who was the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and he said to them, If anyone will be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and put him in the midst of them, and taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sends me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him. For no one who does a mighty work in my name will be able soon after to speak evil of me. For he that is not against us is for us. For truly, I say to you, whoever gives a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were hung round his neck and he were thrown in the sea. And if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two feet to be thrown into hell and if your eyes cause you to sin if your eye causes you to sin pluck it out it is better for you to enter the kingdom of god with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into hell where their one does not die and the fire is not quenched for everyone will be salted with fire saltness 
How will you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. May you not experience the horror of hell in Jesus' name and may I not also experience it in Jesus' name. Can you imagine the fire never quenches and the worms do not die? You know, when you go to the graveyard, you'll see that worms also eat of the flesh of the dead and then the worms die there. But if the worms in hell do not die, it means they just continue eating and eating. Even when there is nothing else to eat, they just continue irritating. No, don't let's talk of the horror of hell. So to avoid the horror of hell, you have been told what to do. You must be the salt of the earth. You must live a life of example like Christ. You must season the earth. You know, there are important things that salt will do, but I can easily mention maybe like two very quickly now. Salt would season something, give it a good taste. So let it be that wherever you are as a Christian, you give a good taste to the environment there. Salt would also preserve life. Salt will not allow worms to eat <laughs> anything that you put salt around. So that means you should be the preserver of lives around you. You should not let people either die physically or spiritually when you are there so that they do not also witness the horror of hell. And if you are able to be the salt of the earth, then there is no way you can witness hell. Well then, that means I need to send out an invitation to some people right now because perhaps you've asked yourself, can I escape the horror of hell? If you are not sure, then you need to give your life to Christ so that you can be really sure. Or perhaps at a point in time in your life, yes, you gave your life to Christ, but you also backslid along the way. You do not want to experience the horror of hell. This is the time for you to also come back. Come back to Christ. Are you set for the experience of giving your life, either for the first time or returning to next back to Christ? Then say this prayer, say, Lord, I have come to you right now. Have mercy upon me. I do not want to witness the horror of hell. Forgive me of my sins and give me a new lease of life. That from today, I will be assured of heaven. I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You need to find a Bible-believing church if you are truly determined to avoid the horror of hell. And I have always told you that the best place to come is the Anglican Church of Oki as an extension of Shogbo, Osho State, Nigeria. For now, we are still in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Oyikon and Gokyomi Bodu Drive, Oki as an extension of Shogbo. You can join us on Tuesdays for our midweek Bible study and on Wednesdays for now that is still Lenten season for our Lenten talk and Holy Communion service. Five o'clock on each of those days. And if you are joining us on Sunday, nine o'clock in the morning, join us and together we will have a beautiful time in the presence of the Lord devoid of any feeling of the horrors of hell. I just told you that we are using a temporary worship center that's uh, in our school but we have already started building the permanent site of the Anglican Church of the extension of Oshubo. So look on the screen, you can see the details of our bank account of the church there, so that you can bless us and the Lord will also preserve your life and make you more of salt to the earth. And as you go out today, everybody say this prayer. Say, I pray for grace not to be careless with sin, but to look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith, so that I will never witness the horror of hell, but I will live in glory with you. I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go out today, avoid the horror of hell, and it will be well with you. God bless you.